Leviticus chapter 6, verse 27. The Bible says, Whatsoever shall touch the flesh, thereof shall be holy. And when they are sprinkled of the blood thereof upon any garment, thou shalt wash that way home. It was sprinkled in the holy place. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, O Lord, wash me thoroughly with your holy hands. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, wash me thoroughly with your holy hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV station for dreams, interpretation, and warfare prayers. I am Evangelist Joshua Oreke, broadcasting from Lagos, Nigeria. Are you just watching over the very first time? You are most welcome. Kindly use the opportunity to subscribe. Today we are going on a very important topic. The topic is the truth about spiritual bits. The truth about spiritual bits. Perhaps you have been seeing yourself baffing, either in a dream, either in a reality. Spiritual birth is normal, is quite different from our own normal way of betting. Now, a pastor asked to undergo a spiritual birth for seven days, for 14 days, for a period of time. Now, this spiritual birth sometimes can be used by occultic pastors to inflict pains, to kill someone's souls, and to take away someone's fortunes. Now, what does this spiritual but could not even in the Bible. Is it biblical or not for a Christian to embark on this spiritual bet or properly, properly called ritual bet? Now, have you, are you a Christian? You have find yourself in this spiritual bet and ever since you commit yourself into this act, your life has been so, 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 so going from bad to worse, going from one church to another, from one deliverance, from one deliverance from captivity to the another. By the grace of God, the Lord will open our eyes to this spiritual meaning of this ritual betting and spiritual bait. Does it is it okay? Is it validated by God that we should all do spiritual bait? Join us as we tell you this spiritual meaning. God bless you. Perhaps you are wondering what does spiritual bait mean? Perhaps you ask yourself this question: Is it good or bad for a Christian? To have spiritual bet or, or, or ritual bet, you begin to ask yourself further questions. Is it even biblical or not? By definition, spiritual bet represents the cleansing of the body from evil spirit entanglement. Spiritual bet could also be done with the use of soap and sponge to bath a complete naked person. Ritual bathing is used by some priests. To purify and fortify a person, to remove obstacles and any strange spirit that torments a person, spiritual bait is recommended by some priests. In some cultures, it is widely recorded that when a child is born into that community, a spiritual bait will be processed on the destiny of that child. But the fact is that if you use any strange water, strange water, polluted water, contaminated water, bewitched soap, black soap, sponge, black sponge, to bet yourself, either in the dream, either in the physical, you saw yourself bathing in the bush, naked, as a result of what a pastor told you, you bath yourself seven times, you bath yourself seven days, and ever since you do something like that, you, in fact, it's like the, the problems are getting more worse, then all these things will attract more demonic spirit into your life. Perhaps you saw yourself using coconut water, using salt, or using all kinds of incense to bath yourself. You are bathing in the, in the, in the, in the, in the midst of candles. All these things will compound and attract more spiritual problems that, that will stay long in one's life. And when this happen, it gives the devil access to mess up your life. I pray for you today. Any occultic pastor that wants to mess up your life, today, the judgment of the Lord will come upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Taking a spiritual or ritual bet, according to some people, is meant to cleanse and protect a person spiritually. They believe that when 
a person takes his and embark on this spiritual bed or ritual bed, that person will be protected. The person will be protected from evil. The person will be protected from gunshot. The person will be protected from death. The person will be protected from sickness. The person will be protected from affliction. This is normally happen, especially all these occultic people, all these Yahoo Yahoo people, they want to embark on an operation, deadly operation. They go to one river and fortify themselves in order to have more power to carry out that demonic mission. So spiritual birth as a Christian, as a Christian, depends on how, depends on who is the person that undergo that bathing to you. The only water that is recommended in the Bible, it is the baptism of the water, baptism of the water. So you don't need anything that will contradict the power of God in your life. And I want to let you know that if you have undergo spiritual bait or ritual baiting by even your husband, you discover that your husband take you to somewhere, your husband took you to somewhere, naked you, and begin to puff you, begin to puff you. You don't know the meaning of that, you don't know the meaning behind that puffing because it's your husband. You want to obey him, you want to listen, get you want you need to you want to heed to his instruction. You discover that. One, immediately you finish you know doing the betting you discover that things are going difficult in your life you begin to see your husband as an uncultic man so if you are a woman and some such story is applicable to you i want you to send me an email ejoshuatv at gmail.com i'm going to give you some powerful prayers and i'm going to cancel you so if you are a woman and your husband is an occultic man and you are once time, you want your husband at one time bath you naked with one sponge or something, send me an email, ejoshuatv at gmail.com and we shall deal with this thing spiritually in Jesus' name. Spiritual bet always comes with specific direction to follow in order to maximize the full effects which make it an evil manipulation. If you are a pastor, a genuine Christian, and you find yourself in this ritual betting, I will tell you that you are possessed with marine spirit. Very soon, you will start manifesting that brave bad front. Once you find yourself in this show of shame, you are entering into a spiritual covenant with the devil. Once you do it, it can take away everything God has given you, including your star. I pray may your star never be taken, may your fortune never be taken. In Jesus' name, I want to let you know that those who have those who have practiced this kind of spiritual betting today, they are regretting it. I pray may you never regret in any actions you have taken. And if you are regretting right now, the mercy of God will wipe away all your sins of the past. In Jesus' name, it is good to have a spiritual bet when it is done according to biblical instruction. In Leviticus chapter eight verse six, the Bible makes us to understand that Moses brought Aaron and his son and wash them thoroughly with what with water spiritual birth in bible principle was done for the purpose of cleansing of our sins purification of the body soul and spirit god can use spiritual birth to wash away our troubles and eliminate those causes those spirits that have been following or troubling our life the spiritual birth are split into two sides the godly way and the demonic way According to Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 9, the Bible makes us to understand that it washed away thy blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. In Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25, the Bible says it will sprinkle, it will, the Bible says it will sprinkle clean water and it will make you clean. A God sent prophet can use water to heal you. A God sent prophet can give you instruction to immerse and wash yourself in a water. To wash away that evil spirit tormenting your life. The typical example of this is Elisha that instructed Elisha that instructed Naaman to dip himself seven times in the river. And once you do that, all the all the problems that confronted that young man will be taken away. It's as a result of prophetic direction. The bad side of spiritual birth is when a pastor begins to give you spiritual sponge, spiritual soap, coconut water, pepper. 
salt in, to bath yourself, all in the name of cleansing, purification, and protection from evil spirit. The truth is, if the act is diabolical in practice, evil spirit will keep attacking you in the dream, attacking you in the real life. There are a lot of spiritual rituals in the Bible, but a lot of occultic pastors are taking advantage of this as a commercial stuff to brainwash people and hypnotize them. A lot of people have died for sick, while many have find themselves in a big mess as a result of this ritual beating or spiritual beating. Unfortunately, a lot of occultic pastors have brought more problems into people's life by administering the use of spiritual bait of washing away spiritual attack from people. The Bible says, my people have perished because of lack of ignorance. In John chapter 8 verse 36, the Bible says, whom the Lord has set free from this ignorance, he is free indeed. May the Lord free you from the entanglement of the devil in Jesus' name. In all ramifications, spiritual bits, where someone has to wash your body, wash your head, wash your hand, wash your leg, in the river, in the forest, is an evil inclined practice. Once you find yourself in that means, can you run to a deliverance church? Can you run to Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministry and undergo your deliverance? And if you are close to clam, if you are close to clam church, then you can go there also to embark or undergo your deliverance from this demonic covenant. I want to let you know that the purpose of this spiritual bed is for the devil to wash away your fortunes and to steal your glory, bind you to covenant and evil dedication. If you are into this art, I want you to pray very well. Pray for God to release you from the stronghold of the wicked. If you are buffing yourself, and if you are someone is buffing you in the dream, in the reality, you have more work to do. Because those are embodiment of battles, spiritual battles, troubles, rising and fall. If you are a woman, you are someone is buffing you. It's an indication of marital difficulties. If you are a man, you 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 are seeking for promotion, job breakthrough, money breakthrough. Somebody advise you go and take your bet, spiritual bet. Something could will come, and you did that foolishly. You are writing your name in the book of death. I pray for you today. Any water that has been sprinkled upon your life, your glory, your fortune, your star, any evil water that is affecting you. Today, that water will dry up in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if you know that you are an occultic person, you are watching this video right now, you are an occultic man, you are always having that hodge to bring people, to bewitch people, to wicked people, to punish people, to exchange people's destiny. If you do not repent for seven days, the judgment of the Lord will come upon you, especially if you are an occultic pastor. Repent, 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 for the day of the Lord is at hand. Repent, and the Lord will free you from this covenant. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Instruction. If you recently had spiritual birth and you have not been feeling fine, feeling okay from within, kindly embark on seven days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wash out all the ordinances of the wicked upon your life. If the problem persists, as I said, can it proceed to deliverance church? Or read James chapter 4 verse 8, Psalm 51 verse 2, 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, any bewitchment done to my life, O Lord, revive me again in the name of Jesus. Any bewitchment done to my life, O Lord, revive me again in Jesus' name. Say, any covenant I have entered through spiritual bits, Break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O rain of heaven, come down and wash me clean from pollution of the body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus. O rain of heaven, come down and wash me clean from pollution of the body, soul, and spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, any spiritual water covering my original, original glory, be washed away by the blood of Jesus. Any spiritual water covering my original glory be washed away by the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. Say, I release myself from the hold 
of ritual baiting in the name of Jesus. I release myself from the hold of ritual bait in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray that the Lord will deliver you from evil captivities, covenant, from evil dedication in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray once again that if the enemy is using this art to buy you spiritually today, it shall be broken in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this podcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. Mm-hmm.